I'm Chris Estopanol. I'm one of the cornea and cataract specialists here at Virginia Eye Institute. I take care of problems of the surface of the eye, including um, ocular surface disease, commonly referred to as dry eye, um, infections of the front of the eye, dystrophies of the cornea, and I do cataract surgery and corneal transplants. Um, today we're going to be talking about ocular surface disease and um, how um, we take care of this disease that commonly makes people's eyes feel dry and uncomfortable. In some ways it's just what it sounds like. It's problems with the front surface of the eye. Um, a lot of people use the term dry eye and uh, that's because ocular surface disease often makes your eyes feel dry. But that feeling can come from a range of problems. And so that's why we use the term ocular surface disease. The most common symptom is stinging and burning, those feelings that people often associate with dryness. Another one that we see really frequently is fluctuations of vision. A lot of people come in and say, I, when I'm reading, watching TV, driving, anything that requires intense visual concentration, that the vision starts good, but then drops off over time. And that's because when you do these things, you don't blink as much, and so the eyes dry out. And um, I think that's a, that's a big one that brings people in. The most common two reasons that people's eyes feel dry is either their tears aren't healthy or they don't make enough tears. So the main cause of unhealthy tears is uh, a problem called meibomian gland dysfunction or blepharitis. Basically the oil glands um, that sit at the base of your eyelashes have to produce um, oil of a specific kind of consistency. And um, if the oil is too thick or the oil glands are inflamed, your tears will evaporate too quickly and your eyes will feel dry. And that's a really common cause of dry eye. Um, in terms of not making enough tears, some people just with age, the tear glands uh, atrophy or degenerate, so they're not making as, as many tears as they used to. In terms of unhealthy tears uh, caused by blepharitis or meibomian gland dysfunction, um, the mainstay of treatment is warm compresses and eyelid scrubs, which people can do at home. Um, sometimes we'll use eye drops, sometimes we'll use medicated eye drops, sometimes we'll use oral supplements, um, sometimes we'll use oral medications, and then in some patients um, there's a procedure called Lipoflow that we'll offer um, that can also help improve the health of the uh, oil glands in the eyelids. If your eyes feel dry, if they feel irritated, if your vision's fluctuating, if you feel like your eyes aren't comfortable, it's certainly something that we want to help you with, that we can help you with. Um, and me or my partners who treat this disease um, will try to find the treatment that will work for you um, and that will help you take care of your symptoms.